G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to continue to look at how to mentally add numbers together. Okay, in the last video, uh, which I'll put a link up for, is we were looking at how to add single digits together, okay, through the use of complements, and it's a great little trick. And and, and I had hopefully you're adding big strings of single digit numbers instantly. But now we're going to move into double digits, okay? Um, so let's have a look at this. How fast can you add? these numbers together. They'll give you five seconds. Okay, hopefully with this you got the answer of 151. If not, I'll tell you what, we'll go through how you might add these sort of numbers together really, really quickly. Okay, so let's uh, start off with, oh, I'll get back to this one at the very end about how we will add these together. I'm going to start off fairly simply with these and this is, uh, we're going to look at just a couple of uh, just a couple of really easy examples to start you off. So say I was to get you to add fifty seven plus eighty six. Now, if you were to do this st the normal way, what you'd do is you'd go seven plus six, and you'd you'd put down a three here because you get thirteen, and you carry the one over here, and then you'd go one plus. Okay, so I'll write the answer in as we go. Fifteen plus six is thirteen carry the 1 and then we'd go 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 8 is 14 and you get this answer 143 and this is a really really I guess a, a, a quite a fine method if you're writing down on paper but if not it's, it's, it's if you're trying to do it in your head it gets quite cumbersome because what you're doing is you're actually trying to carry numbers across and then keep that number in your head and it can get rather rather tricky so we're going to actually not go this way when we do it. We're not going to be going from right to left. We're going to start trying to add left to right. Okay, so just before we start on this, I think it's really, really important to get a couple of things with this. That this number here, okay, that we have uh, this 57 is made up of two numbers. We have 50 plus 7, okay, and 86 is made up of 80 plus 6. So it's really important that you get this idea, okay? And I think most of you probably already understand this. So when we add these mentally, we're going to do these slightly differently. First off, we're going to start with adding the tens. Then we're going to add units. And I'm going to show you, there's a pretty precise way of doing this. Just a really good habit of getting into. So we're going to be adding them like this. So 50 plus 80 plus 7 plus 6. But we're not going to say the plus in between because that... It's just too many words and it throws us. So we're just going to add them as we go. So 50, 130, 137, 143. Okay, so the answer to this is 143. Okay, so you see this? 50, 130, 137, 143. We're not going to write them out like this. We're actually just going to keep them like this. So we're going to start off with some fairly easy examples okay and to once you get that that the in practice of doing this you get fairly fast at doing these all the time so what about if i give you a couple of very easy ones to start off with 18 and 45 so practice doing these this way so 10 50 58 63 okay Okay, let's go through another one. And if you, if you feel I'm going a bit too fast when you're doing these, when I write them up, pause them, and then we'll go through them together, okay? So what about this one? 56 and 89. Okay, so we have, pause it if you have to, 50, 130, 136, 145. Okay, how did you go with this? And I should just tell you right now, um, when I'm doing these, I'm actually uh, designing these numbers so I don't get too um, uh, biased towards using easy numbers or hard ones. I've actually used random numbers, just just, just so you do know this, okay? Um, because it's, it's a bit easy, I think, sometimes to choose numbers that work really well. So I've, I thought, look, I'm gonna ch I've actually got a random number generator to control myself with this, okay? So let's do another example here. What about we do 33, 86, 
and 71. Okay, now we've got three lots and we add together. Now this time we're going to actually use complementary numbers as well, okay? And for you, if you haven't seen these uh, other the, the other videos of mine, these are numbers as such as the follows, okay? As such as following, we have say 3 and 7 in this example here. These are numbers that add up to 10, but we could also have say 2 and 8, 1 and 9, 4 and 6, or 5 and 5, okay? So these are numbers that add up to 10, so we can add them fairly rapidly. Okay, so we, we're going to look for these when we're adding our numbers. So, we have 3 and 7, 30 and 70 is 10, so 100, 180, okay, 180, and this is a big set of complementary numbers here, so we can just add uh, another 10 here, okay, so 180, 190, okay, we'll go through this again, so we have 3 and 7 is 10, 100, 180, okay, 183, 189, 190. I was just adding these really quickly because I noticed they all add up to 10. So our answer is 190. You see how we're adding these up? Okay, so what about we give this another go? Um, we'll give you a, a different example here. What about 63, 27, 46? Okay, so pause it if you have to first. We have complementary numbers here. We have 10, 12, so 120, 120, 130. You're going to see we have some complementary numbers here. Okay, so I'm marking the complementary numbers. So we have 100, 120, 130, 136. Okay. How did you go with that? Uh, what about another one? Um, 46, 32, 87, and 39. Ooh, these are quite horrible numbers, aren't they? Okay, so first off, do we have any complementary numbers here? Well, we do. We have these ones, okay? They're going to add up to 10, so 100, 180. And on this side, I can't actually see any com uh, complementary numbers, so we're just going to add as we go. Okay, so 100, 180. 186, 188, 195, 204. Okay. So you can't get away, you do have to actually add these. There's no uh, magic bullet for not adding and things like that. Okay, so what about we go on to a final example? Then we'll go back to the one we started with and we'll see how you go with this, okay? Uh, what about 13, 35, 38, 90, and 83. Okay, um, now look, obviously with the zero here, it's going to be almost like complementary unto itself. It's just a zero, okay? So anyway, let's have a look at this. Um, so do we have any complementary numbers here? Yeah, uh, I guess we do. We have 100, okay, 130, 160, 240 okay and on this side we don't have any hundred uh, any complementary so we have 240 243 248 256 259 okay so hopefully you're going to go okay with those let's go back to this first one and have a bit of a look so it's a really, really, you, you will get faster and faster and faster at doing these. And you'll start to do things like, um, and I'll, I'll just, actually, I should, I should put that last one up just to show you, okay? With this one here, you'll start to do things like this on gathering, right? What you'll do is you'll start to hopefully do things like, you'll go, okay, so you'll recognise the complementary numbers, okay? And you'll go, yeah, okay, they're complementary. And then, so you'll go 100. 160, 240, okay, and then you'll be able to start adding strings and numbers together, 240, maybe you'll go 246, 251, 259, so you'll start to order things around how you like to add them, you know, not necessarily sticking in this particular order, okay, anyway, let's have a look at this initial example here. 
Okay, that was our first example. So let's add these together. Okay, and they're, they're sitting nice and uh, this way now. So, so maybe they're going to be a little bit different for you, but see how you go with them. Okay, so how do, how do you go? We have, um, don't have any complementary numbers here. So we have 20, 50, 110, 140. Then we have, this is our complementary numbers here. So we have 150, 151. Okay, because 3, 1 and 6 were complementary numbers, so 151. Okay, so hopefully you are, you go pretty well with these and you're getting some success with these. In the next video we're going to start looking at 3 digits, bigger digits, okay, um, and how you'll add these together. Anyway, hopefully this is some help. Okay, bye.